As for weather back here at home, let's focus in on what we can expect the rest of the afternoon. It's such a great weekend. Wasn't it? From start to finish. Yes. We almost got the entire weekend rain free and then a couple of showers late Sunday. Yeah. But hope you enjoyed your 4th of July weekend. It was definitely a gem. It was plain cold. On Saturday morning, there were some folks in the lower 40s and even a couple of upper 30s. That was that really dry air and that cool air coming in from Canada. Well, now we've got the winds out of the southwest picking up warm and humid air from the Gulf of Mexico, and that is why that humidity has been climbing all day. As far as the rain, not much going on right now, mainly up toward I-80 up in Venango, Clarion, northern Jefferson counties. Still a mix of clouds and sun from Pittsburgh on south, and just back to the west in Ohio, you can see the next batch of rain that will be pushing into areas from Pittsburgh up to the north in the next couple of hours, and that will continue to fill in as the day goes on. A couple of numbers that jump out at you. First of all, 81. It is already much hotter than it's been, and it's only noontime, so we're expecting a high temperature at about 85, but that dew point is surging. We had dew points this weekend in the 40s and 30s, just off the charts, dry air at 64. You're really feeling that humidity. It continues to go up with these south-southwesterly winds sustained at 20 and gusting up to 31. So in addition to the wind direction, it is getting very windy and gusty out there. All right, here's our severe weather outlook for today, and this is a little bit different than what we showed you this morning. The Storm Prediction Center has added basically the entire area into this elevated risk for strong to severe storms, about the only exception within our viewing area down in Preston and Garrett counties. And tomorrow, same deal. That entire line actually shifts a little bit more south. The bottom line is anyone watching us today or tomorrow, although not everyone will see storms, any storms that do form could be strong to severe. Here we go at noon, and you can see those showers up toward I-80 while most of the area is dry. We bounce ahead to 6 p.m., and really, any time after about 3 o'clock, we begin to see these scattered, strong to severe storms. And even by 9 p.m., we're still seeing rain across the entire area. I think overnight, with the exception of a couple of showers, we're probably drying out into tomorrow morning. This is 9 a.m., and then tomorrow afternoon, the storms will once again fire up, and it's looking like tomorrow actually a better chance at more folks seeing some strong to severe storms. And one final round coming in on Wednesday. Future rain by 9 p.m. tonight, and you can see where the heaviest rain is, is up toward I-80, where we could already see over an inch. Now add in the rain that's expected tomorrow, and there are some spots that could see over two inches of rain. Again, especially up toward I-80. That's probably going to be the bullseye when you add up today and tomorrow and then Wednesday as well. All right, today 85 degrees, partly sunny, still hot, still muggy, still breezy. Those scattered strong storms in the forecast as the day goes on. That's going to take us into the evening. We've got scattered strong storms this evening, tapering off overnight, but it's going to be warm and sticky out there, 66 degrees. Forecast for tomorrow, we've got more scattered showers and storms, probably an even better chance than today. And then Wednesday, one final round of storms, probably in the afternoon, tapering off. And that will set us up for some nice weather for Thursday and Friday. Upper 70s, lower 80s, lower humidity. Weekend looks to begin with decent weather, maybe end with a few showers, but that is a long way off in the weather world. So we'll yeah. try to work on that forecast this week. We'll focus on today for yes. now. Thanks, Steve.